Hey, go fish, everybody. Charlie Burrow here, and uh, hey, first of all, thank you for taking the time to check out my channel. I hope you like it. Uh, and if you do, after you watch it, if you like today's uh, today's video, uh, if you like it, man, do me a favor, subscribe, comment, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. But uh, you know, uh, you don't ever have to donate to this video, but if you subscribe and give me a thumbs up, I do get a little revenue out of this, enough to pay for my habit, you know, my habit of fishing and uh, for this platform to just share God's goodness with y'all. Uh, before I get started today, haven't done this in a while, but look here, I got to say thank you, ACC Crappie Sticks, Andy Lehman, for uh, keeping me in, in supply of these good rods. I tell you what, I have lost count of how many slabs me and Miss Pam have swung in with this uh, ACC crappie stick. I, I'm liking the uh, 12 foot. Miss Pam is still using the 10 foot. First rod I bought from Andy, and she is still using it today. It's, I guess it's, uh, gosh, probably going on three years now. She has worn that thing out just about. But thank you, thank you, Andy. And um, thank you to Bonehead Baits. I tell you what, I've been, I've been using um, my hand ties lately, but I use two baits, hand tie or bonehead baits. I've tried the others. There, there's a lot of good baits out there, but I like the boneheads. They're re very reasonably priced, lots of colors and profiles, and they're strong. I tell you what, you can catch multiple fish on one jig where those other baits I've tried, they, they're good baits, but they tear up after a fish or two. Uh, and Jarrett Peters with Peters Dry Dock, if, if you're anywhere, anywhere around Shreveport, Louisiana, and you don't have a, uh, um, a man to take care of your boat, Jarrett at Peters Dry Dock in Keyfield. And I'll have a little contact logo up there on the screen here in a minute. But uh, Jarrett takes care of, he can do everything from a water pump to redo the head to whatever. And on the electronics end, he can get you the live scope, install it. Uh, just about any kind of electronics you, you want to put on your boat, he can take care of it. And a very, very special day for me today. Y'all see this right here, cornfield crappie. Uh, these guys contacted me um, about a week ago. They make, the, uh, they make a lot of products for, for live scope. Uh, they make the stand, the uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about, the, uh, the brackets, the mounts. And, uh, but the thing that, that they sent me is the live sweep. And don't get me wrong, I love the, the mount that I have been using up to this. I, I love it. I mean, it's kind of like, um, do you want a standard shift or automatic on the car? Uh, the one that I used for the last couple of years, the all aboard mount, great mount. And y'all have seen me use it in all my, all my videos, or that's what I'm using. But this here is, uh, is automatic. It's uh, motorized, and I can control that thing. And I'm going to show you some of it today. I can control it with this little key fob, and I have a foot control up there. So I'm going to use the key fob, and uh, when Miss Pam is with me, it's probably going to be like dueling banjos out of the old movie Deliverance. I'm going to use the key fob, she's gonna override it with that foot control. But, looking forward to, uh, to using this today. I, uh, I used it all oh, about four hours the other day on Lake of the Pines and, and I really enjoyed it. And I'm, I've got another surgery coming up. I've got some shoulder, major so shoulder surgery uh, in January. So I'm gonna be down to, uh, to one arm for a while. And this thing will allow me to be hands-free. I'll probably, uh, be able to set the hook, catch a fish, and hand it to Pam. But uh, worry about that when the time comes. Now, what else? Well, I guess that's about it, except y'all know me. I've always got to leave you with an encouraging word or, or thought. You know, this is uh, Thanksgiving week, and Thursday uh, is the day we set aside to uh, Eat, eat all that turkey and dressing and uh, be with our family and friends and loved ones and I certainly hope you're able to uh, I hope wherever you live that you're able to do that I know some some cities in in our country is uh, 
this is going to be a tough time for you. But um, just believing that God's going to work that out for you. But you know, we always say this is the time we, we uh, give thanks. We ought to give thanks every day, and I certainly try to. I, I don't always, but I try to. But um, you know, the old devil, you know, he'll jump up on me, especially this year. He'll jump up on that shoulder and he'll say, Oh, Charlie, this is, this, this is really, 2020 has really been a crappy year. And you know, I just like to smile and say, Man, you're so right. Have you seen the slabs? that we have been catching. We have really been catching the crappie. And then he'll say something like, well, you know, Charlie, you're getting old. Man, you've already had surgery, looking at another surgery, your body's falling apart. I just smile and I say, well, you know, devil, have you seen the people that take care of me? Have you seen my beautiful wife? Have you seen my awesome kids? Have you seen my precious grandchildren? Have you seen the host of friends that I have that uh, are always quick to, to offer up that prayer and that encouraging word to me. You know, the devil is going to try to to fill you full of, uh, you know, discouragement. Well, you know, he's the father of lies. But I think there's one thing that the devil has never lied about. And he'll tell you He'll tell me, he's, he tells me all the time, he says, you know, Charlie, you're going to die. Well, you know what, that's the truth. That's, the only, that's probably the only truth the devil will ever tell you is that you're going to die. And when he does, you just smile and say, you know, you're right. You're right, devil. I am going to die. But, you know, I got I to gotta die so that I may live. I will live again. And, and the next time, it'll be for eternity. And you should see the fishing holes that I will have privy to. Golden lakes full of big three, four pound golden crappie. Man, don't listen to that trash that the devil puts on you, man. Uh, tell God, tell the Lord Jesus, take time today. Don't wait on Thursday. Take time today and speak it out loud. I did it this morning. I always pray before I leave the house. And let me tell you, if you'll say it out loud, you know, and if you're embarrassed, somebody's going to hear you or whatever, find you a little quiet place. But I want you to, out loud with your voice, just tell Jesus you love him. Tell him you love him and how thankful you are. And you think, you won't have to think long. Think of the many things that he's done, that he's doing, and the things that are yet to come. Well, look, I don't know about y'all. But I'm ready to slap this uh, new cornfield in the water and go fish. Okay, guys, I just want to show you real quick how this uh, cornfield crappie live sweep mounts to your troll motor. Um, it comes with everything that you need. It's got three bolts. If you have, I have an Ultrex, and they've got this thing fixed. So all you have to do is put those three bolts. On this on the bracket got two on top one underneath and that will be this piece right right here then you have a dog bone what they call it and that just that is going to attach uh, from your bracket to the live sweep and it's got some little allen heads Tighten those things up and then take your, uh, just take your transducer off of the uh, troll motor, use the same bracket, attach it to the uh, pole. And I, and I put a couple of uh, wraps of tape, I put it pretty tight right here, but then leave you a, a loop right here so this thing, you know, can spin around and not get in a bind. And that's it. That's all that there is to mountain, you know, getting the... Uh, the live sweep mounted to your uh, troll motor. The other part, now I didn't really watch. It didn't take my, uh, it didn't take Jarrett Peters very long at Peters Dry Dock, probably 15 minutes. He popped the uh, foot control out. That's where the existing existing wiring for the Ranger is. It's up under there. He uh, 
you know, spliced in a couple of wires and that was it. Slapped it back in. I was ready to go fish. So I hope that helps. Any questions, uh, you know, just shoot me a message. Be happy to help. Okay, guys, here's uh, here's the uh, key fob. And I'm going to take my camera out. But here's the, uh, I don't know if you can see the directional down there. See it turning? Let me zoom in a little bit. So I'm going to troll along and I'm going to operate this uh, live sweep just by key fob right there. And really I've gotten uh, I've gotten pretty good at the hook control. I think I like it better. Just uh, left left and right now let's get to the good stuff all right I've got my screen uh, I've got it set at 50 55 feet get this where we can see it real good I cheated I uh I caught one fish just now. I just caught my first fish with it, and uh, it worked uh, worked just like I hoped it would. I'm not seeing a lot of fish on these trees right here. And when I get up close to these fish, I'm just barely tapping the tapping the gas on this thing it will move it in real short increments which uh, with this live scope being such a narrow beam um, it's, it's good to be able to just move your uh, transducer in real I'm talking like half inch movements This didn't interest me. I'm not sure what we have right here. Get a little closer look. Just getting started, so you know I'll find the I'll find them big boys somewhere around here. I think that's a bass right there. see something deeper down there so let's see what this is all about come on buddy oh man he popped the fire out of it Ooh, god that felt good I believe he'll hit again that's a good fish right there too getting me excited getting me excited really bite again Just nibbled on it. Thought he was on there. Third time the charm. There he goes. Come on up here. 
on my lines. Oh, guys, wrapped up on my pole. That's a good fish, eh? Old black crappie. That's black crappie right there. About a pound and a half, I guess. Come on, buddy. That fish came off the bottom to look at it. I don't want him, that other one's bigger. There you go, get on up here. All right. I don't think this fish is all that big. We're gonna drop on him and get on out of here and find some bigger fish. He's trying to get away. Oh, I got him just in time. He was leaving. Drifted in too close to this fish and he uh, he was taking off. But he saw that free meal pop up. He should have kept swimming. Alright guys, somebody's got to uh, step up and put on a show here. Somebody down there. Come on up here, that's a good fish right there. Might be fish of the day if I can get him in. Solid two pounder right there. All right, this one better work. I'm about to get uh, 
get flustered here. Surely not. About time. Let's see if they uh, don't want to bite this one either. white crappie down there. That's the beauty of that braid. It's a nice black crappie. He uh, got me wrapped up. I just held on and uh, he finally worked himself off. All right, so this is how I ended up yesterday, guys. Good mess of fish. Had some fatties in there and just some good eater fish. Now, I was not on Lake of the Pines. Uh, it's just another, it's, it's the little private lake I take Miss Pam to. Um, it's a little smaller lake, much smaller lake than Lake of the Pines and uh, a little more protected from the wind but uh, not as big a slabs as, as you're gonna catch on Lake Fork or uh, Lake of the Pines, but um, certainly, uh, certainly was a good time. Uh, now, about the cornfield mount. 
let me say that after uh, after two trips now with that thing and uh, had about six hours with it yesterday, is that uh, is that cornfield mount gonna help you to catch more fish, bigger fish, uh, or catch them quicker? I am not gonna sit here and tell you yes, absolutely it will. I will tell you this though, you'll catch them a lot easier. It's a lot more comfortable. Man, I sat there in that chair and just worked that foot pedal over. I'm gonna try to wear it out, but I clicked that thing a gazillion times yesterday, zooming in on this fish. It was so much fun just to just to operate the, uh, the foot control, not have to worry, I was hands-free, and, and that means a lot to me right now because uh, this shoulder is, is gone. I'm facing surgery here in a few weeks. So uh, I'll have some recovery time, but it's going to make it so much easier on me. But if you're looking for a, a good um, automatic kind of, I, I, I compared it to uh, when you buy a car. Do you want stick shift or you want automatic? If you want hands-free, you need to check the corn field out. It's, uh, it's an excellent mount. Made, made with uh, great, great craftsmanship. I mean, it's, it's machined out. It's, it's, it's the real deal. All right, it's time to get the bark knocked off of these things, get them bagged and tagged, and then I'm going to grab that cup of coffee and sit back and start planning the next trip. Hey, I'll catch y'all next time. God bless you, and go fish.